Ifriqiya or Ifriqiya Arabic, Afrikat Ifriqiya or El Maghrib El Adna Lower West was the area during medieval history that comprises what is today Tunisia, Tripolitania, Western Libya, and the Constantinois, Eastern Algeria, all part of what was previously included in the Africa province of the Roman Empire. The southern boundary of Ifriqiya was far more unchallenged as bounded by the semi-arid areas and the salt marshes called El Jared. The northern and western boundaries fluctuated, at times as far north as Sicily otherwise just along the coastline, and the western boundary usually went as far as Behia. The capital was briefly Carthage, then Kairouan, then Mardia, then Tunis. The Arabs generally settled on the lower ground while the native population settled in the mountains. The Aglabids, from their base in Kairouan, initiated the invasion of Sicily beginning in 827 and establishing the Emirate of Sicily, which lasted until it was conquered by the Normans. The province of Ifriqiya was created in 703 CE when the Umayyads seized Africa from the Byzantine Empire. Although Islam existed throughout the province there were still considerable religious tension and conflict between the invading Arabs and the native Berbers. The beliefs and perceptions of people also shifted from area to area, this contrast was at its greatest between coastal cities and villages. Muslim ownership of Ifriqiya changed hands numerous times in its history with the collapse of the Umayyads paving the way for the Aglabids who acted as agents of the Abbasids in Baghdad. They were then overthrown by the Fatimids in 909 when they lost their capital of Rakada insert link for Rakada here and the Fatimids went on to control all of Ifriqiya in 969 when they took control of Egypt. The Fatimids slowly lost control over Ifriqiya as their regents, the Zirids, become more and more autonomous until the mid-11th century where they were fully separated. Religious divisions paved the way for the Almohads taking over western Ifriqiya in 1147 and all of Ifriqiya by 1160. This empire was to last till the early 13th century where it was then replaced by the Hafsides, who were an influential clan that boasted many of Ifriqiya's governors. The Hafsides in 1229 declared their independence from the Almohads and organized themselves under Abu Zakaria who built the Hafside Empire around its new capital, Tunis. Records of Arabic oral traditions imply that the Muslims first migrated to Africa feeling persecution in their Arab homeland. However, Muslim military incursions into Africa began around seven years after the death of the final prophet Muhammad in 632. This campaign into Africa was led by the general Amr ibn al-Ayaz and Muslim control of Africa rapidly spread after the initial seizure of Alexandria. Islam slowly took root in the East African coast due to cross-cultural links established between Muslims traders and the natives of the African coast. The political situation in Islamic Africa was like any other, filled with a chaotic and constant power struggle between movements and dynasties. A key factor in the success of any hopeful party was securing wealth to fund a push for dominance. One form of great wealth was the lucrative gold mining areas of sub-Saharan Africa. The existence of these gold mines made expansion into Africa a very worthwhile endeavor. The Muslim empires pushed for influence and control of both the northern and southern parts of Africa. By the end of the 11th century Islam had firmly established itself along the Mediterranean. The Muslims, like the Europeans, felt the brutal effects of the Black Death in the 14th century when it arrived in Western Africa through Europe. 
Maghreb and Ifriqiya at large were largely under the rule of the Ottoman Empire from the 16th to the 18th century. Around the end of the 19th century, Islam accounted for one third road of the religious population of Africa. Topic: <laughs> Islam and Africa. A hundred years after the Prophet's death the Arab world had expanded as far as the Indus River, thus stretching their empire across Asia, Africa and Europe. Arab merchants and wayfarers along with clerics began spreading Islam along the coast and in regions such as Sudan. Islam first took root in Sudanese merchants due to their increased interaction with Islam, they were then followed by several rulers who in turn converted entire countries such as Ghana in the 11th century and Mali in the 13th century. Due to the way in which Islam entered the African world, a large part of the rural population remained outside the fold of Islam. The spread of Islam was given new life in the 11th century when an Islamic fundamentalist group of Berber nomads known as the Almoravids took control of the Western Islamic Empire. While Islam did spread throughout most of Africa it is important to note that its spread was a highly erratic process that occurred over a large period of time and was not constant or rapid. Islamic influences on African societies in some areas such as Ghana, the presence of the Muslims led to the founding of several mosques. It is believed that the Sudano Sahelian style of building was engineered by Malian king Mansa Musa, who brought back an architect from his pilgrimage to Mecca whose name was Al Sahili. Musa's brother was instrumental in the construction of new mosques throughout the empire and established religious centers of learning to aid new and old converts in their empire. Timbuktu was one such religious center that was responsible for a significant part of commercial and intellectual advancement in the Mali Empire. In the 16th century a significant portion of Muslim scholars in Timbuktu hailed from Sudan. Arabic seeped into Africa and merged with Bantu to create Swahili. It is also believed that conversion was a useful way to avoid being captured and sold as slaves in the lucrative market between Lake Chad and the Mediterranean. For African leaders conversion was more of a political tool that was employed to gain support and legitimacy from the powerful Arabs whose endorsement would be useful in stamping out their enemies. However not all tribes readily accepted Islam and the Arabs as their superiors. The Mossi who resided in modern-day Burkina Faso along with the Bamana Empire in Mali expressed fierce resistance to Islam. Eventually, exposure to Islam led to the creation of an African strain of Islam with its own unique practices and rituals, Islamic influence on African art, Islamic prohibition on the depiction of people and animals was one that was accommodated and integrated into African culture. The charisma of early Muslim clerics in Africa drew swathes of people to Islam. These clerics who were known as marabouts, began producing amulets that contained verses from the Quran. These amulets gradually replaced the role of talismans in African cultures. The emphasis on avoiding representations of living beings reinforced reliance on geometric designs to create intricate patterns for textiles and other crafted goods. Masquerading was another art form that existed in a Islamic Africa and was performed in royal courts in countries such as Mali. However, the most noticeable Islamic impression was left on the architecture of Africa, mosques especially. Islamic civilization crashed into Africa and morphed into a hallmark of cultural diversity and this is reflected nowhere better than in the multitudes of mosques all across Africa. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Notable people. Constantine the African. Constantine was a scholar who was born in Carthage and migrated to Sicily in the 11th century. Constantine had travelled through places such as Cairo, India and Ethiopia and as a result had knowledge of numerous languages that helped him interpret many different academic books. His greatest work came when he joined the Benedictine monastery at Monte Cassino. At the monastery he translated over thirty books included a few works from Isaac the Jew, one of the most accomplished physicians in the Western Caliphate. He translated Muslim books on Greek medicine from Arabic to Latin, opening up Europe to a wave of medical knowledge that they had little access to before. His book, The Total Art, is based off the Royal Book by Persian physician Ali ibn al-Abbas, ibn Khaldun Ibn Khaldun was a historian born in Tunis and one of the most prolific academics in the Middle Ages. Ibn Khaldun's book Mukaddima would influence waves of writers in Egypt, Turkey and France through the 15th–19th century. Ibn Khaldun served in numerous political positions in al-Andalus and al-Maghreb. He fell in and out of favor of the many different powers that rose and fell in Ifriqiya. In the latter parts of the 14th century Ibn Khaldun took refuge with a tribe in Algeria and began his four-year-long endeavor to write an introduction to history, Mukaddima. Volume 1 laid the groundwork for sociology, while the two volumes that followed explored the world of politics. Subsequent books explored many different themes such as urban life, economics, and the study of knowledge. He spent his later years as a judge of the Maliki Fiqh in Egypt, where he took his work very seriously, evaluating each case on its merits and constantly trying to eradicate flaws that he discovered in the judicial system. His somewhat strict approach to Islamic laws made some Egyptians uneasy, and so he eventually left his position and travelled through the eastern reaches of the Arab world. In 1400, he parleyed with Timur outside Damascus who was in awe of his wisdom. He managed to secure safe passage for many of the inhabitants of Damascus but could not save the city or its mosque from being sacked. After this he headed to Cairo to spend the remainder of his years in relative peace and quiet. He died in 1406 and was buried outside Cairo. List of rulers Conquest phase Cyrenaica and Tripolitana conquered in 643 by Amr ibn Alas, organized as new province with regional capital at Barca, first governors uncertain. Muawiyah ibn Hudayr al-Kindi, c.665 to 666, ruled from Barca. Oqba ibn Nafi al-Firi, 666 to 674, conquered South Tunisia by founded Cairo 670. Abu al Mahajir Dinar, 674 to 681. Oqba ibn Nafi al Firi, restored, 681 to 683. Led cavalcade to Morocco, ostensibly bringing entire Maghreb under submission. Oqba killed. Arabs expelled from Byzacena, occupied by Oraba Berber chieftain Kusaila, 683–686 Zahir ibn Qais al-Balawi, 683–689 Initially only Barka, recovered Byzacena in 686 Zohair killed 
Berbers under Kahina recover Byzacena in 689. No clear Arab governor, 689–92. Hassan ibn al-Numan al-Ghassani, 692–703. Initially only Barker. Captured Carthage in 695 lost again, then again in 698 final. Permanent conquest of Ifriqiya, organized as new province, separately from Egypt, directly under Umayyad Caliph, with capital at Kairouan. <laughs> Umayyad governors of Ifriqiya Musa ibn Nusayr al-Lakmi, 703–715 During conquest of Spain, Abd Allah ibn Musa was regent in Kairouan, while Musa was in al-Andalus, 712–715 Muhammad ibn Yazid, 715–718 Ishmael ibn Abd Allah ibn Abi al Mahajir, 718 to 720. Yazid ibn Abi Muslim, 720 to 721. Muhammad ibn Yazid restored, 721. Bish ibn Safwan al Kalbi, 721 to 727. Obeda ibn Abd al Rahman s Solomai, 727 to 32. Oqba ibn Qudama, temporary, 732 to 734. Abid Allah ibn al Habib al Mausili, 734 to 41. Berber revolt begins 740. Kultham ibn Iyad al Qasi, 741 Balj ibn Bish al Kushari de Jury, in Cordoba and Abd al Rahman ibn Oqba al Ghaffari de facto, in Kairouan, 741 42 Handhala ibn Safvan al Kalbi, 742 44 Firid emirs of Ifriqiya Independence from Caliphate, Berber statelets in Morocco, Firid coup d'état in Kairouan, 745 Abd al-Rahman ibn Habib al-Firi, 745–755 Ilyas ibn Habib al Firi, 755, Habib ibn Abd al Rahman al Firi, 755 57. Karihit rulers Firid Ifriqiya conquered by Karihit Berbers in 757. Sufrite Warfajuma in Kairouan, Abadite Nafuza in Tripoli, Azam ibn Jamil al Warfajumi, Sufrite, 757 758, Abd al Malik ibn Abi el Jad al Waranjumi, Sufrite, 758, Abadites of Tripoli depose Sufrites in Kairouan, 758. Abu al Khattab Abd al Ayla ibn al Samh al Mafiri, Abadite, 758 760. Abd al Rahman ibn Rustam al Farisi, Abadite, 760 62. <laughs> Abbasid governors in Kairouan Abbasid invasion of Ifriqiya, Abadites reduced to Tahurt and Nafuza, 762 appointed governors Muhammad ibn al-Ashath al-Khuzai 762–765 former Abbasid governor of Egypt 
Isa ibn Yusuf al Khurasani 765, Al Aglab ibn Salim at Tamimi 765 766, Al Hassan ibn Harb al Kindi 766 767, Al Mikharik ibn Ghuffa 767 to 768 Muhalabid Sumar ibn Hafs al Muhalabi 768 to 771 Habib ibn Habib al Muhalabi 771 Umar ibn Hafs al Muhalabi 771 Abu Haytham Yaqub ibn Labib al Kariji 771 to 772 Abadi rebel Yazid ibn Haytham al Muhalabi 772 to 787 Dawood ibn Yazid ibn Haytham al Muhalabi 787 Raf ibn Haytham al Muhalabi 787 to 791 Nasser ibn Habib al Muhalabi 791 to 793 Al Fadl ibn Raf ibn Haytham al Muhalabi 793 to 795 appointed governor Shathama ibn Ayan 795 to 797 Muhammad ibn Mukatil al Akki 797 to 799 Tamam ibn Taman al Tamimi 799 to 800 Muhammad ibn Mukatil al Akki 800. Topic: <laughs> Aglabid Emirs of Ifriqiya. Ibrahim I ibn al Aglab ibn Salim 800 to 812. Abdullah I ibn Ibrahim 812 to 817. Ziyadat Allah I ibn Ibrahim 817 to 838 Al Aglab Abu Iqal ibn Ibrahim 838 to 841 Abu El Abbas Muhammad the 1st ibn Al Aglab Abi Affan 841 to 856 Ahmad ibn Muhammad 856 to 863 Ziyad Allah 2 ibn Abul Abbas 863 Abu El Gharanik Muhammad the 2nd ibn Ahmad 863 to 875 Abu Ishaq Ibrahim 2 ibn Ahmad 875 to 902 Abu El Abbas Abdullah II ibn Ibrahim, 902 to 903. Abu Madha Ziyadat Allah III ibn Abdullah, 903 to 909. Topic: <laughs> Fatimid Caliphs in Ifriqiya. Abu Muhammad Abdu al La Ubaidi al La al Mahdi Bayala, 909 to 934, founder of the Fatimid dynasty. Abu al Qasim Muhammad al Karim by Amr Allah, 934 to 946. Abu Tahir Ismail al Mansur by La, 946 to 953. Abu Taman Marad al Mu is Li Din Allah, 953 to 975, transferred to Egypt in 973. Topic: <laughs> Zirid Dynasty rulers of Ifriqiya. Abul Futta Saif ad Dawla Bulagan ibn Ziri, 973 to 983. Abul Fat al Mansur ibn Bulagan, 983 to 995. 
Abu Qatada Nazir ad Dawla Badis ibn Mansa, Sharaf ad Dawla al Muiz ibn Badis, Lost West Ifriqiya to Hamadid dynasty, 1018, declared independence from Fatimids, 1045, invasion of the Banu Hilal, 1057. Kairouan destroyed, Zirids reduced to the main coastal cities, rural areas fragments into petty Bedouin emirates Abu Tahir Taman ibn al-Mu'iz Yahya ibn Taman Ali ibn Yahya Abul Hassan al Hassan ibn Ali, eleven twenty one to eleven fifty two, Ifriqiyan coast annexed by Norman Sicily, eleven forty three to eleven sixty. Topic Norman kings of the Kingdom of Africa, Ifriqiya. Roger the Second of Sicily, eleven forty three to eleven fifty four. William the First of Sicily, eleven fifty four to eleven sixty, all of Ifriqiya conquered and annexed by the Almohads, eleven sixty. Topic Halfside Governors of Ifriqiya Abd al Wahid, twelve oh seven to twelve sixteen. Abd Allah (1224–1229), Abu Zakaria (1229–1249). Topic: Hafsid Caliphs of Ifriqiya. Muhammad I al Mustansir (1249–1277). Muse Muhammad, twelve twenty three to twelve seventy Yahya two al Watiq, twelve seventy seven to twelve seventy nine Ibrahim I, twelve seventy nine to twelve eighty three Ibn Abi Umara, twelve eighty three to twelve eighty four Abu Hafs Umar the first, twelve eighty four to twelve ninety five Muhammad the first, twelve ninety five to thirteen o nine Abu Bakr I, thirteen o nine Abba al Bakr Khalid and Nazir, thirteen o nine to thirteen eleven Abba Yahya Zakaria al Liyani, thirteen eleven to thirteen seventeen Muhammad the second, thirteen seventeen to thirteen eighteen Abu Bakr II, thirteen eighteen to thirteen forty six Abu Hafs Umar II, thirteen forty six to thirteen forty nine Ahmad I, thirteen forty nine Ishak II, thirteen fifty to thirteen sixty nine Abu al Bakr Khalid, thirteen sixty nine to thirteen seventy one Ahmad II, thirteen seventy one to thirteen ninety four Abd al Aziz II, thirteen ninety four to fourteen thirty four Muhammad the third, fourteen thirty four to fourteen thirty six Uthman, fourteen thirty six to fourteen eighty eight Abu Zakaria Yahya, fourteen eighty eight to fourteen eighty nine Abd al Mutmin, half side, fourteen eighty nine to fourteen ninety Abu Yahya Zakaria, fourteen ninety to fourteen ninety four Muhammad the fourth, fourteen ninety four to fifteen twenty six Muhammad the fifth, fifteen twenty six to fifteen forty three Ahmad three, fifteen forty three to fifteen seventy Muhammad the sixth, fifteen seventy four to fifteen seventy four Jafari, Jafari the Clean Yahya, fifteen seventy four to fifteen eighty one 
Alam the Fur, fifteen eighty one. Topic See also Aglabid Zirid dynasty Hafside Maghreb History of Roman era Tunisia History of early Islamic Tunisia History of medieval Tunisia Topic Notes Topic Sources Topic Chronicles Ibn Abd al Hakam, English trans, by C. C. Tori, nineteen oh one. The Muhammadan Conquest of Egypt and North Africa. Historical and Critical Contributions to Biblical Science, pp. 277–330, online, French trans, in De la Salle Histoire des Berbères et des Dynasties Musulmanes de l'Afrique Septetrinale, 1852, v.1, ap. 1 pp. 301–308, Al Nuweri, French trans, in De La Salle, Histoire des Berbères et des Dynasties Musulmanes de l'Afrique Septetrinale, 1852, v.1, ap. 2, pp. 314 444, from 647 raid through end of Aglabids, and 1854, v. 2 app.1 pp 483 to 89 for Zirids. Italian Transal, in M. Amari 1851, Nuova raccolta di scritture e documenti intorno alla dominazione degli Arabi in Sicilia, p.27 to 163 Aglabids only. Ibn Khaldun, French trans, in De La Salle 1852–56, Histoire des Berbères et des Dynasties Musulmanes de l'Afrique Septetrinale 4 vols, Algiers, Imprimerie du Gouvernement, v.1, v.2 v.3, Volume 4 Ibn al-Athir extracts from Kamil al-Tawarik, French trans, in De La Salle, Histoire des Berbères et des Dynasties Musulmanes de l'Afrique Septetrinale, 1854, v.2, ap. No. 5, pp. 573 ff. Secondary Julian, C. A. 1931, Histoire de l'Afrique du Nord, Volume 2 de la Conquête Arabie à 1830, 1961 edition, Paris, Payette. 